We all have our favorite places. One of mine is being on the water. All right, let's get her in there. Let's do it. This adventure is at one of Oregon's iconic rivers, the Mackenzie. I didn't know it was going to be a pontoon boat. I thought it'd be a drift boat, but this is cool. I think it'll be actually more exciting. Woo! This river is beautiful, right in close to the Eugene Springfield area, and it's excellent trout water. Now, I love to fish with a fly rod, and today I have help from guide Steve Johnson. I love coming down here. It's a great fishery, uh, beautiful scenery, and uh, close enough to home that uh, it's a pretty easy run. It's safe to say there is a lot more to fly fishing than fly fishing. There is so much to take in when you get out into nature, and floating a river is a great way to do it. Fly fishing is uh, really an opportunity to just lay everything down at the boat ramp, you know, turn off your mobile phone if you're feeling brave, and then just kick back and enjoy the sights and the sounds of the river. What, a, what an awful day at work. I can't believe I'm having to do this. It's just, <laughs> it's not fair. You guys have the job. <laughs> I think I just saw a little rise down there. Having an expert guide is a rare luxury for me. So that's like trout habitat right there. Steve knows this river and where the fish are, even on a relatively quiet day. There you go, there you go. Stopping and fishing off a gravel bar pays off. That may be the one you saw jump, Ken. Don't want to wear him out too much, but yeah. here he is. Whew. There it is. Nice. The that's, that's a nice little fish. Yeah, that's better. Uh, sure, that's that's a beautiful McKenzie. Yeah. Rainbow. Yeah, hey buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hello, Mackenzie River. Ready to let her let him go? Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Good boy. All Good right. boy. Early on, my day's already made. And although my excitement climbs with fish on, I couldn't be any more relaxed. Floating along, fly line on the water, breathing in deep, taking it all in. And practicing my less than perfect casting. That's one thing about fly fishing. You're never too old or experienced to keep learning. There goes a the little mayfly right there off my oar. It starts with knowing what kind of bugs are around and then picking the right flies to attract the fish. Part of the fun is the mystery underwater. From above, we can only know so much about what's going on down there. Oh, he's actually a nice fish. Nice. But take some educated guesses. There he comes into the net. Yeah, that's a nice cutty. Yeah, I see the cutter. Beauty. He, he fought like a cutthroat, yeah. huh? Yeah. And it's fish on and into the net. On this trip, all to be released. There it is. So we can get going and do it again. <laughs> that's a nice fish. He's a good fighter. Nice fish. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This could be the best fish of the trip. <laughs> that was a nice fish. Thank you. That's Thank a good you. that's a good finish. That's a good finish. That's perfect. Perfect on the water every time no matter what. On the Mackenzie River with photojournalist Ken McCormick, I'm Tim Gordon. Let's get out there.